After being shot by Renton police, investigators say an officer was forced to fire after the suspect pulled a knife. Kara 7's Michael Spears is live right now in Renton, and Michael, witnesses say that man ignored police commands. And that matches what police told us. Investigators say an officer approached the man for drinking in public near this store, but they say things quickly escalated when that man pulled a weapon, and it's down 116th here a bit where police say they shot and killed that man. Chopper 7 overhead moments after a Renton police officer fired the shot that would prove fatal, shooting a man in the street where investigators say he was then given aid, taken to a hospital, and pronounced dead. He completely turned the back on police and just kept walking. It looked to me that the officer was acting in restraint, actually, because the guy was not following his instructions whatsoever. Jeff Bell witnessed some of the last moments of that man's life. There was actually some thoughts that maybe the individual had already been shot while he was walking away. He was kind of staggering in a manner, but it was hard to tell. Written police say just before 4 p.m., a sergeant spotted a man drinking in public here near 116th Avenue Southeast and 168th Street. Investigators say around that same time, a 911 caller said they had seen a man here with a gun. And police say when the officer approached the man, he pulled a shotgun and the officer opened fire. The suspect then dropped the gun, according to investigators, and took off. Another officer arriving had attempted to deploy what we call less lethal munition. But police say that did not work either, and the suspect refused police commands to freeze. The subject had a knife in his belt. He then produced that knife, started toward officers. The sergeant fired at least one further gunshot. The subject was stopped there. Police say they were familiar with the man who was shot and killed here. His name has not been publicly released. As far as that officer, we're told he is a 30-plus year veteran with the Renton Police Department. He is on leave tonight, which is standard when we're talking about officer-involved shootings. For now, we're live in Renton. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.